Hey there, it's Daniel Hillel Tuck from Wild Meat Video Marketing, and we're gonna take a look at another corporate video. So in this series, what I try and do is give my honest reactions to corporate videos that are out there on YouTube or LinkedIn or wherever, and just see how I, as a you know video marketing professional, feel about them, good or bad. All right, so let's take a look at another one. This one is called Trucking is in our blood from, I think, Baldwin Filters. Now, I haven't watched this yet, so let's find out what I think. It's a discovery for me, too. You okay? You know, I like the black keys and the white stripes, but sometimes I wonder if it was worth it, but okay. Okay. Uh, that honestly, that text went by really quickly. I'm actually not sure if I really got it all in. Kind of, you know, badass white text on, you know, badass imagery of men in jeans and on trucks. Okay, I'm gonna start it again because I, I realized I wasn't really paying attention. You must think rules are made to be broken. Yeah, flannel shirts, truck door slamming. Pushing limits. It's what we do. Okay. All right. There's no stopping us. There we go. When it comes to protecting your livelihood. All right. I see. I see. Okay. So yeah, they're selling uh, filters to truckers. So the truckers are the audience for this ad. So, you know, I, I'm not a trucker guy, clearly. So let's take that, you know, into account. You know, these, this is persona, right? They're like what we assume of truckers or what truckers might like to think of themselves as, you know, burly, strong, tough guys who are on the road for many hours to work hard, you know, support, support themselves, support their families. There's a vibe. There's a iconography associated with it, you know, all this Americana stuff. Here we go, coffee shop, truck stop. They're using stock imagery, a lot of empty roads and badass trucks riding along it. Okay, let's keep watching. Yeah. Whatever the conditions. Okay, air, fuel, lube, filtration. Oh look, they had a lady in the photo, good. Press the Beyond Industry Center. It's Beyond. All right, stock footage, some photography. I think the photography is their own. When and where you need them, there are no limits. When it comes to keeping you on the road. Trucking is in our blood. Mm. All right, that's where and when you need them. There are no limits. When it comes to keeping you on the road, trucking it's in our blood. There's a little timing stuff there that's a little bit off. Um, okay, I mean, they're clearly using majority uh, stock footage there. They have some mixture of their own photography and the photography they have themselves isn't bad. You know, if I'm looking back at this now again, you know, they have a good mix, but they're mixing in some weird stock that's old. You know, like you can tell because it's like interlaced. It looks like it's been taken from, you know, who knows how long ago. You know, it has those like thin lines in it. And then there's this weird inclusion, you know, like a big, almost close up of the front of a truck and it's pretty low resolution right there. It's all grainy. Okay, all right. So what have they done here? They, they've they mixed stock footage, they mixed photography, they edited it to a piece of, you know, rock music. I think, I think they did an okay job here honestly said you know they are mixing a bit of quality you know there's not everything is as consistent as it probably should be i don't know how much of the footage they shot themselves for their purposes this is decent if i were to do this gig and i was limited let's say i was given this job and they says we do not have a budget to shoot our own footage i probably wouldn't want to do that job because then i would have no control over how the visual language connects to the story but okay you just have to use stock photography and stock footage, and we can't hire a VO, and here's the song you have to use. It's a tough gig, it's a tough job to pull off uh, correctly, but um, I think I would have tried to figure out, okay, truckers, what, what are the needs of truckers? What is important to them? 
you know, some of them are owner operators, right? They own their own vehicles, but this is their livelihood. If there's anything I know, they have a lot of pride in their vehicles that they drive. This is a real identity for them. And this ad is trying to play with that a bit, right? You know, they're trying to suggest themselves as like the partner for the trucker. I would emphasize that a bit more. You know, your truck is part of you. The truck is helping you accomplish your goals. It's going to earn your keep. So that's the story, right? It's about what can Baldwin filters do to help support you and your truck and you being part of that. So can we find the story of the challenge of like, what if something went wrong with your truck and what Baldwin filters can do to make it better? I guess my main critique is there's not much to connect to. Overall, all over all this video is just fine, right? It's a little propulsive message. It obviously didn't cost them much, I hope. And it kind of puts their name out there just enough. Is it gonna accomplish their goals? Maybe, maybe not. And just like a little bit of brand presence. They made a video and that's at least something, right? But they don't have any characters to connect to. There's no like story or personal journey of anybody involved. Uh, if I were a trucker, I wouldn't be able to really find myself in this video. So yeah, um, we're gonna try and make a few more of these and look at different types of videos, ones that inspire us as well. And if you have any tips of videos we should look at, I'd love to see it. So see you on the next one and like the video, leave a comment, subscribe. I'm not gonna say smash that like button. That's, I just did, but it's, <laughs> that's, that's, that, that was painful. All of that jazz. All right, that's enough of that, bye.